It started out like any other day. Sit down at the desk, fire up the computer, and get down to... Huh? This greed error, press control alt delete. Something was seriously wrong with my computer. Now, I'm not the first person on earth to experience a total hard drive meltdown. It happens to thousands of people every day. It happened to the computer manager for the Minnesota Twins, John Avinson. And uh, he started squealing like a pig. Unfortunately, once you hear that clicking noise, it's pretty much done for. No! It happened to a writer-producer for The Simpsons, Bill Oakley. I couldn't even begin to remember what was on there. I just knew everything was on there. And it happened to Gene Rupp, a consultant who designs industrial equipment on his computer at home. It said, hard drive not found. And I start listening to my computer, and it's like, I hear a little noise. I mean, it's not like a transmission going out on a, on a tractor or something. Of course, I'm not some amateur. I'm a professional technology journalist. I have experience. I have tools. I have exactly the same problem. I was desperate. And when you're desperate, there is a last resort for people who absolutely, positively have to get their computer files back. When you say it was making a weird noise, what was that, like a clicking sound? Or? It's called a data recovery company. It's a service as specialized and high-tech as a hospital and almost as expensive. But they boast a 90% success rate in recovering files from dead drives. Drive Savers Data Recovery, this is Kelly. Kelly Chesson used to be a counselor for a suicide hotline. But at Drive Savers, her job is to yeah, calm down so customers strange. who've lost their cool along with their data. Having your hard drive fail could mean that you've, you're going to lose your job, uh, your job's on the line, maybe your business just went down. Um, it could be as simple as you just had the first two years of your child's pictures, baby pictures on that drive. They were sitting on that computer only and now they're gone, so you've lost all those memories. As I took my dead hard drive across the country for its appointment with Drive Savers, I wondered what could have gone so horribly wrong inside that tiny little box. If you want to imagine a record player with a needle, that's what your drive looks like inside. The hard drive is the heart of your computer. It holds every one of your files, folders, and photos. If you take the lid off, you see this, a little high-tech record player. Delicate silver platters spinning at thousands of revolutions per minute and little fragile reading arms dancing across at 60 miles an hour. Really gives you a feeling of confidence, doesn't it? They are very delicate. John Christopher is a data recovery engineer. Every, every hard drive manufactured today will someday die. It's, it's a given. The world's data is on these devices. Jim Reinert is an engineer for a competing recovery service called Kroll on Track. What we have here is a drive that's imaging with a fan blowing on it. Sometimes drives will perform better at cooler temperatures. Uh, the color of the light also helps it out somehow? <laughs> it helps the engineers out. <laughs> the most extreme cases are brought here to the on track clean room where even more delicate microsurgical processes can be performed. Okay, Jim? I'm ready. Looks great. Uh, your mask is on upside down. In this dust-free environment, technicians can open up your hard drive, clean it by hand, replace any broken parts, and surgically copy files off the sick disk. In the process, these workers get an unobstructed view of what's on America's computers. Does anybody ever say, I really need my pornography collection revised? Sure. <laughs> Like, Absolutely. You guys just keep a straight face and... You know, it's, the information is important in many ways. Whatever it is to, to people, it's, it's not our business to judge. But the most interesting part of the job isn't the data. It's the people yeah, And I think actually the, the strangest phone call I ever had was a man who had gotten so frustrated he actually shot his computer. Uh, this one was run over by a truck. But nobody has collected as many great stories as Drive Savers <laughs> owner Scott Gaidano. He's even put together a little dead hard drive museum. This is a laptop that was rescued from the bottom of the Amazon River. And the woman, an amateur diver, went down two flights of stairs underwater, found her stateroom, remembered to bring her key, and rescued her laptop and got it to drive savers. And we recovered all the data for her. Is it good for society to entrust so much data to something so delicate? No. It's not. It is very delicate. And frankly, I'm surprised we're still in business. I'm surprised that there are still hard drive computers.
Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only moving thing in a computer. In fact, those drives are so disaster prone. Well, first of all, I have to chastise you for not backing up your information. We're going to edit all this out. <laughs> These guys will scold you if you don't have a backup many, many copy. Years. Put your hand out. <laughs> all right. Well, to tell you the truth, David, I'm pretty lax about backing up. You know. Not all the experts practice what they preach. That's the one thing everyone should get out of this broadcast is backup, backup, backup. But you don't. Well, that's me. I have a data recovery company. Come on. $500 to $2,500 later, you get to find out what kind of success these data surgeons had. I was about to meet the technician who'd worked on my hard drive. This was the moment of truth. Excuse me, are you Ryan? Yes, I am. Hi, David. David, nice to meet you. So, how'd we do? Unfortunately, we got absolutely nothing for you. It's dead. Sorry, dude. What? Yeah. Just kidding. We are able to actually recover all your information. <laughs> Thanks to Drive Savers and OnTrack, my files lived on. They've been granted a second chance at life on a new hard drive and a second second chance on a brand new backup drive. I'd seen close up just how fragile the spinning heart of a computer really is, and I vowed never again to take its delicate little life for granted.